Hola familia, what's going on? Tuning in from Costa Rica. Where are you guys around right now? Love to hear from you. We are on a special, very special day today, sharing the winners of the giveaway that we did. We have five winners that are gonna go crazy. Gonna change their lives very profoundly. And I want to use this time also to talk to you about something I feel very important right now. That's like how to transform negative emotions, low vibration emotions that can actually like shrink you. How can we use that as energy of expansion, right? Emotion is energy in motion. But if that energy is not in motion and we don't know how to put it in motion, what happens is that it gets stuck and that's when we feel suffocated or overwhelmed or anxious or fearful or all these emotions that we don't know what to do. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Please let me know where are you tuning in from. I'm seeing some people already tuning in. Amazing. Um, yeah, and we will start very soon. Just getting everything together here with the team. Nasario, what's up? All right. There you go. Okay, here are the winners. All right. So I will say the winners after, guys, because I don't want you guys to feel you didn't receive. I want to give you. I want to give you. I'm always loving to give and and to share so we can grow together. I feel that's, that's very important, right? So I'm gonna share with you some goodies <laughs> and then we're gonna talk about the giveaways and we're gonna celebrate even, even if, uh, if you, didn't, you weren't the winner of the giveaway, right? Why not celebrate for others, right? Okay, so let me see. Bettina, what's up? Andrea, Vivi, yay! Far, what's up, brother? Janine, Constance, Gavi, Prisca, Angela, Donata, Mary, Nasario, Michon, Saga, Hineranji, Michelle, Camila, Angie, Benjamin, what's up, brother? Anna, Jennifer, beautiful people. I love you. Love you all so much. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Cindy, what's up, familia? Mar, Marina, Nejk. Oh, so happy to see the family here getting together. Hey, here, here we are getting together. And, you know, this place is just symbolizing our garden. Visualize that as our garden. Look at that little bridge we did there to go to the other, like the fantasy land right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you guys before we start. I'm celebrating because we have all these new new babies coming through. Look, we just planted these new babies. I, I, um, I'm obsessed with the garden. I'm, I've always been obsessed with the garden, but now it's more than ever. Look at all the babies we have. So we're finding space here for all the babies. Yeah. And of course course the the mission the intention the vision is like one one day will be completely self-sustainable we won't be needing to buy anything from anyone we're gonna be growing everything ourselves that's that's my dream you know you tell me about a dream my dream they're kind of weird people are like really Juanpa like some people dream of like huge mansions and like the most amazing advanced cars and I'm not against it. I'm like, oh, if that's your dream, fulfill it. But for me, my dream is like, I just want to drink the most amazing spring water, like coming out right there in my garden. I just want to like 
grow my own food and have all types of foods in every way so much that I can give away to all my neighbors. You know, I just want to watch the most amazing sunset from the porch of my house. I don't know. It's just simple things like that, guys. You know, it's simple things like that. But really, that's if you tell me like, oh, your biggest vision, like for me, right? But then when I'm like, okay, and now for people, what, what do you say for humanity? Well, of course, what I do is serving. But then it's like, well, I want to open this place for humanity, for humanity to come and experience what we're experiencing and like go deep into their heart and deep into their body to be the healthiest most energetic and connected to the purpose human being that we can be because I believe when we go back to nature and we know how to get the codes from nature and we have a place where people can come back to their natural state right that's why i love nature because you hear me all the time it's like hey you're just coming back to your natural state you're not you're not um you know you, you're not even creating anything you're not even inventing anything you're not even like getting rid of anything all you're doing is transforming anything transforming right transforming energy just gets transformed so you transform it into something that was clogging you that was stopping you that was not letting you flow into energy of manifestation that's all we do that's coming back to our natural state because if you look at nature nature is always manifesting nature is always expanding nature is always growing nature is always giving look at a tree Tree is always giving, right? It's crazy. The flowers, everything, and you know what happens with a tree when a uh, fruit tree when the fruit tree is not. You don't take the fruits of the tree. Do you know what happens? After some years, it dries. It doesn't give fruit anymore, because nature says like, "Oh, I'm not needed here." Okay, then I'll I'll come out in a different way. I'll I'll have a different version of myself because this tree is not loved or needed here. You know. When we arrived to this land, there were like a hundred different types of fruit trees. And one of the mi biggest missions that we had was to give the fruit trees back love and take care of them. Because the guy that was owning this land, not the first guys, the first guys were like organic farmers. This was like an organic uh, farming land, right? At the beginning but then this guy brought it bought it to like have cabins and he was all into almost tourism and not he didn't care about fruit he was drinking coca-cola all day super overweight and he was like letting all the mangoes i swear the mangoes the mango steam the uh um uchuvas the golden berries the guayabas guavas um bananas papayas i can't tell you there's everything here avocados water apples um uh rose apples this there's so much right everything was rotting and when we came like the trees were kind of like uh you know we're here but they were like fruits were getting smaller and i'm like the coconut trees there's like 500 palm coconut trees pumpy coconuts the coconuts were like going bad like drying we had to drink them like in in like 15 days <laughs> because i'm like i don't want nature to feel here that's not appreciated that it's not abundant part of abundance is appreciation part of abundance is gratitude and if we're not grateful for what we have right if we're not grateful back to nature and we, we're talking to nature we're connected to nature nature is gonna feel like okay i'm kind of uh, you know we're playing a different game here we're playing a different frequency but if we're gratitude with nature with constantly connecting with nature we're we're talking you know talking from from inside to the trees to the flowers to to the to the to the earth to the earth right to to any plant anything but you there is there is a connection we have a cellular connection we have a biochemical connection right we have a neurocircuitry connection our nervous system is directly tapped in to the earth but what happens is like we are not aligning our nervous system with the vibration of the earth and that's why we disconnect from our natural state our nervous system is like way up here and the earth is vibrating at very sweet loving energy right the vibration of the earth it's very loving it's about the heart 
It's all about the heart. It's, it's the feminine energy, right? And that's why when you put feet on the earth, you put your hands on the earth, you put the feet on the earth, you connect to the earth, you're naturally connecting your feminine energy. What does that mean? No woo-woo-ness here. That means your right side of the brain will automatically light up. This is science. This is not uh, something I just invented. It's pure science. The moment you connect your feet, your hands, you touch the earth, you, you touch the ocean, or you touch any element in nature um, that has the electromagnetic frequency, your right side of the brain lights up. That's your feminine side. That's your creativity. That's your flow. That's your gratitude. That's your beauty. That's your like surrender to it all that's that that's it and that's the importance of that connection with the earth not only because the vibration it has the frequency it holds and it's reminding us constantly that that is our natural state right not only that but actually the sounds that you hear when you go listen to that bamboo can you hear that It's a bamboo forest. Oh my God, did you hear that? I almost want to just shut up and just listen to the bamboo. Right? Oh, so when you go and sit down on places where you're, you're listening to a creek, you're listening to, to some trees touching their leaves, you're listening to the ocean, the waves, you're listening to the birds, it doesn't matter whatever sound of nature, is helping your nervous system align with its natural state. That's what nature is so important, right? And when we, with time, get disconnected from this natural state, that's when we got, that's when we start going into this vortexes of very low vibrational energy, right? which is low vibration emotions. Your emotions are the language of the body. Your thoughts are the language of the mind. Your emotions have a magnetic frequency, right? It's magnetism. Your emotions attract. It's magnetism. It's science. Your thoughts have an electric frequency. To create a signal, to broadcast a signal, to send a signal out into the universe, you need both electric, magnetic, electromagnetic frequency. Your mind is in coherency with your heart. And that's emitting a signal into what we call the toroidal field, which is the field of energy all around you. We can measure that. It's, it's no woo-woo thing. It's pure science. So it's an energetic field around you. And the more you cultivate both the energy of the heart, the love, the love for you, the love for nature, the love for others, the love for life, the more you cultivate that, and the more you cultivate the, 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 the brain waves and letting the brain waves all be in the same frequency, right? Letting the brain waves all be pulsating in the same energy, right? Then we have coherency with the brain and the heart right that, that that's when you start focusing the energy then you have a laser beam of manifestation okay and that's where you point wherever you want to go whatever you want to do whatever you want to manifest you become a manifester a co-creator just like that that's who we are we are here to co-create with the universe when we are aligned with what we call the unified field when you're not aligned with that because you're in your own story, you're in your own personality, you're in your own ego, kind of in your own little bubble of whatever the story is, but you're living from the past, you're living from memory from the past, then you feel disconnected. You feel a space between you and what's going on in you and your field and your energy and the universe. There's like a gap. There's like an emptiness. Yes, that, that, that's not, you're not feeling that connection. That connection has, is always going to be there because if not, we would die. But are we, are we 
tuning into that connection? Are we tuning into that message coming from the field into us so we can listen? What is the next step? What is the next person we're going to talk to or not? What is the next thing? Where do we need space? Where do we need to just be? Where do we need to do and get the stuff going? Everything. Every action, every thought, every emotion can come from the field. That's when you are aligned with the flow of the universe. You're not pushing hard. You're not trying hard. You are just aligned with it. You are in your natural state. All right? You, you're with me? You guys with me? You like this stuff? I just love this stuff. I'm just like, oh, thank you. I just love Even when I talk about it, you see me because it's just so fascinating. We're channels of this magnetic, electric frequency of the perfect universe and we're just magnificent channels of this when we align when we surrender to it when we align every part of our being with this energy right so what happens with time is like since we were in the mother's womb we had all these crystallized emotions and thoughts and energies that get clogged in our nervous system our unconscious mind is in our nervous system and it gets trapped there because when you overwhelm when there's an overwhelm of emotions of negative emotions or low vibrational emotions your nervous system wants to protect you okay your nervous system is here to protect you your unconscious mind is here to protect you so all they do is like whoop, it's shoveled right into the connective tissue right and it's shoveled like where you can't see it so you can't suffer so that's what becomes a blind spot but it's it's a trigger right that's the trigger something happened on your past if you don't heal it and, re and release it it's gonna keep repeating to the future okay oh guys i forgot to ask you please share this uh, live please share this because i feel this information is so good for people right there's so many people like going going crazy with anxiety and stress and like all these low vibration emotions but once you understand it and you you get me where i'm going once you understand it you kind of get released with this right so please if you can share this facebook live i would really appreciate it i love giving all this information but i feel if you we can support each other and, and you can just share this and that's a great contribution you're doing to humanity right now in your own way right and of course then you can go and talk to people and let them know and like whatever you want to do with this information it's all good with me this, this information is to be shared right so so i don't i don't even care but if you can share it right now that that'll be very helpful because then we are really upgrading humanity together that's what this um intention number one of this live stream is raise the vibration in humanity right intention number one salute for that i'll tell you after what i'm drinking remind me Mm, superfood coffee oh my god if you like if you guys like coffee remind me of the recipe i just don't want to take the energy away for what where we're at okay thank you for sharing guys i can see you thank you so much and i'll be giving the giveaway very soon okay so hang on hang on there's a lesson coming first okay okay so <laughs> oh my god so what happens is this the nervous system carries and crystallizes so the nervous system becomes clogged, becomes almost like stiff, right? You can actually feel it in your ligaments, in your tendons, in your body. It feels heavy. It feels, it, it hurts. It feels heavy. It feels it's not flowing. You're not like, ah, pure freedom, right? That's when they have been set like a memory on the nervous system because as we said the nervous system the unconscious mind wants to protect you if you get too much suffering if it's too much low vibration emotion low vibration energy you can get too much overwhelmed and it, it and it can take you to a place of like going crazy right so what the nervous system does is like oh let me store it for you let me store it for you it's something normal you don't even have to think about it this happens after the first year of age, it's something natural that happens and it, it goes like undercover, right? So 
then we, 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 we start growing, we become adults, whatever, and all this is still there. Nobody has done anything with it. You haven't released it. You haven't transformed it. You haven't changed it. So what happens is like your cup gets filled and then any drop of whatever comes through and it explodes because it's too much. It's too much. Your, your cup is already filled. So all we need to do is release the cup, empty the cup for whatever thing that happens in life. You're going to be like, cool, I can observe that. I won't go crazy. It won't affect me that much because I am not in survival mode. I am not into like the world is against me kind of thing, right? That's what happens with the nervous system. The nervous system gives you the signal that the world is against you. It's not that the world is supporting you. It's almost the world is against you. So you got to like, okay, let me, let me release this in order for me to step back into the observer and say, you know what? The universe supports me. The universe wants me to, to rise and to be success. Success is actually my natural state. Where, where am I? Why these crazy thoughts? What about these emotions? Let me release them. Okay. And this is where the alchemy work comes. So what we're doing um, is we start releasing from the organs. The organs are like antennas also, and they're directly connected to the nervous system. Also the muscles. When you study kinesiology, you'll see that through the muscles, you can see if you're lying or not, which part is weak, which part you can work on, what are your triggers, what is the best place to start, to start transforming your life. Like I use kinesiology all the time with my clients, for example, because it tells me everything about them, even what they don't know about them, because the body never lies. There is a way to access your unconscious mind that you don't even have to think about. Because sometimes you don't even know. It's very underneath. All right? So you can do this with hypnosis too. That's why hypnosis works so well too. Because you can access those states. What we call the theta brainwave is that hypnotic state where you can change the programming of the unconscious mind and release whatever's holding you back from energetically embody your highest self. Embody the best version of you, so to say, right? So what's happening here is like when we start releasing all these memories from the organs, from the nervous system, from the muscles, right? And we start rewiring them back, you start coming back to your natural state. And after you do that over and over and over again, what's happening is like the triggers are not there anymore. Simple. They're gone because they're gone from your nervous system. They're gone from your field. They're gone from your body. You're not triggered anymore because they told you why you didn't did that or why did you say that or why didn't you come late again or, you know, whatever that is that sometimes it's much more heavy because we're carrying all this burden from the past. But if we release the burden from the past that it's actually in your nervous system, right? It's not only in your brain. Your brain is actually extended to the nervous system, yeah? The brain is a huge nervous system. Your brain is in every cell of your being, just to clarify. Your brain is not here. People think that when you study neuroscience, you study neuroplasticity, when you study quantum physics, you'll see that there, the, 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 it really doesn't end here. Like It's the same as the tip of the toes. All the information is all the way down there too. That's why it's so important to work on the nervous system, not only on the brain. Even though I'm all about rewiring the brain, but we're going here to the depths of it. So we can really change the patterns, the suffering patterns that have been holding you back. All right? That have been kept you in the same results. So now I'm going to be a little more practical. My life, I used to get very frustrated and very angry. Okay, that was part of like my personality, my old personal reality was that. That was Juanpa a lot, 10, 15 times a day at least. Like I would get, you know, since I was a kid, right? So I, I worked on that and I did a lot of sports. I was always burning it down, lifting lots of weights, doing everything I could to kind of keep down the monster, right? The lion, but, but it was kind of hard. Sometimes it would just explode and, and I had, you know, I, I couldn't control it because there were a lot of triggers, right? That 
were detonated very easily and I just didn't know what to do with them. I just couldn't control myself and I didn't like it because I would treat people really bad. I would feel really bad with myself. I would make the worst decisions. They were all coming through reaction. They were all coming through um, uh, almost survival mode. People want to harm me. I'm going to defend myself. Anything you tell me, I'm going to always think you're doing it from a place of you want to harm me. So I'm going to harm you back, right? That's a typical human thing when you haven't worked on yourself. So I was there, you know, I was very wired there as, 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 as most humans and I, I suffered a lot. So that's where I study all this methodology that we're, we're, we're sharing in the giveaway, right? Which is exactly this regeneration, rejuvenation, detox program that works directly on the nervous system. This is exactly what we're doing. This methodology, I started going deep into it, deep into it, deep into it. And I started releasing, releasing, releasing until I let it go. I wasn't triggered anymore as I was triggered in the past. It didn't detonate anymore as in the past. So imagine the freedom I felt, right? As I could see just kind of the monster kind of tamming it down, you know, bringing it down, bringing it down until I'll tell you a story. The other day, I give all my trust to this amazing worker that is from this beautiful village around here. So I have been giving, we have been giving a lot of work to the people from the village because we want to support them. So we've had up to 10 workers working in the land here, you know, and sometimes just because we want to give them work. So there's always, it's, it's a very big land. So there's always something to do, right? And we always create something. If there isn't, we're like, okay, let's just plant more, you know, let's plant more trees. Let's <laughs> bring sand from the river. Let's make another hole to, to, to go into the, the waterfall and, 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 you know, have a bath, have a bath. <laughs> I don't know. We always create something. So it's very like giving, like giving, giving. And to this guy especially, like I was so connected to him with his family. He has like five children and, you know, he's, he's got like this, 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 this house that's falling apart. So we gave him all the stuff to make his house back. And we've been supporting the family a lot, right? And giving him a lot of responsibility. And like, he's an amazing constructor, right? So he was the leader of the construction, right? And I would trust everything, the materials, money, lots of stuff. Making the, short, the story short, by other workers that were really grateful for everything we were giving. And they were so loyal and faithful like to us that they started telling me, Juanpa, look at this, Juanpa, look at that, this is, that, this is happening. And I started just looking at all the little things that were happening and I, I found out about all the mess he did behind my back. Like he stole to us, he was talking all this nonsense that wasn't true. Like he, he, he had all this double personality um, that I wasn't aware of because in front of me it was like beautiful face, it was all Pura Vida always, and he was an amazing worker, he was always doing the best work you could imagine, so it was always amazing, right? But then when I found all these things, like, guys, if that would have been 10 years ago, I would have felt not only a dagger in my heart, but I would have gotten so angry, betrayed, maybe I would have, I don't know if hit him, but I would have kicked his ass in the moment. I would have made a mess that would have made me feel horrible. My family, horrible. Um, the workers and the energy would have been horrible. Like everything, it would have been an explosion, right? Because I, I used to explode, you know, very in a horrible way, right? I was never to like fights or stuff like that. But yeah, I would get very, very angry and, you know yeah harm people with 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 my talk and in my energy right like yeah so who knows what would have happened if i wouldn't have wired that right it was like oh my god but it was so beautiful to look at this Juanpa right now this personal reality which which i have shaped with time i have brought back to 
to my natural state. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm still working on a lot of things, right? But, but of course, you see the change. You see the growth. You see the expansion. My organs are clear. You know, anger and frustration are in the liver. I've done a lot of liver cleanses. I've done like a lot of rewiring from the liver meridian. And I've done a lot of like releasing of, 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 of lots of toxins. And I've approached the liver in many different ways through massages, through breath, through movement, through hypnosis, through everything we teach in this methodology of the giveaways we're giving today right all that method has all of this and i used to apply it on myself a lot and through this i completely let go because i did it many times right many times completely let go so things like this happen right now guys i didn't even feel a drop of anger i promise you you know what i felt i felt hurt i felt hurt and it was like a hurt of like whoa right in the heart i shaked it off i didn't want to carry it i shaked it off and then i immediately went to him and told him like whoa this really hurts me like whoa did this really happen and i just spoke from my heart not from a place of like whoa, whoa. it was from my heart and this guy never accepted anything he was all he he was he never accepted anything. He denied. He couldn't. He had like a double personality. He couldn't accept it. And that would have made me even more angry. It's like, what? And now you're lying to me. And I brought like testimonies, the other guys, and they would like tell him. And he was like, no, denying, say no, no. Like he never accepted. He did anything. <laughs> guys, I would have gone crazy 10 years ago. Crazy. Like, I don't know what would have happened, you know, with other workers supporting me and stuff like that. I didn't react. I was just there. And then I calmed them down because they started getting angry. You liar. You're making us look like liars. Come on. Oh, my God. They were going crazy. And I'm like, calm down, guys. It's okay. Let's, the great lesson was that. Like, it's all in your consciousness. It's all good. You're going to live here. Don't worry. You're not going to work here anymore. But there's other ways to live life from a different place. If we get angry or frustrated or we react, that doesn't mean we're going to get the result that we want. That's actually making it worse because you feel worse. You feel empty after. You feel horrible. You feel super disconnected. I don't know if you, if you know about this, but your aura, your electromagnetic field, which is the field of manifestation, right? Is that signal you're manifesting out into the universe. The universe is listening to you. So that field, that aura, that's supposed to be an egg of light, a beautiful golden egg of light, right? Becomes full of like, uh, like spines, Anger creates like spines, like ruptures on your auric field. You can actually take photographs of this. You, you, you can Google this. Uh, auric field photographs of, it's called Kirlan ph Photography. And they photograph the chakras and they photograph the aura and all that. And they show how anger and all these low vibration emotions, which I don't even call negative emotions, you know, on a surface level. So people understand me, I say it's, negative emotions but there's no negative emotion it's just a low vibration or a high vibration emotion so all these low vibration emotions fear um anger frustration stress whatever it is that actually brings down your your immunologic system is that number one enemy of your immunologic system that's why it's so important not to get lost in fear right so that brings it down completely right and that's that's why it's a low vibration emotion not because it's bad not because you need to judge people that go there not because you need to judge yourself when you go there no no we're human we're just learning to navigate in this life in this earth nobody taught us this nobody teaches this at school so we gotta see where you know we start remembering who we really are how we're made so we don't get identified with this philosophy that's a philosophy that reveals 1% of who we really are. And it's not the truth. So all we're doing is by going over this, this, this information is going to help us also like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a bad emotion. It's not a negative emotion. It's okay. It's a low vibration emotion. How can I shift it? How can I bring it into a high vibration emotion? That's all the work we need to do because... Low vibration emotions will come and go. It's okay. I still feel fear. 
You think when I speak in stages in, in front of thousands of people, I'm not like, I still feel the nervousness and the fear that actually lights up my fire. You know, I'm not in neutral. I don't feel anything. That, that would be horrible. Like, that's actually good. But I know how to use that instead of like, oh, my God, what are they going to say? Am I going to be good enough? Oh, my God, blah, 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 blah. Right? Instead of shrinking my field, I use it to expand it more, to expand my fire more. But I'm feeling the fire in my belly. I'm not denying my fear. If you ever see those guys like, oh, I'm fearless. Fuck you. I don't feel fear anymore. I have rewired myself. No fear. That doesn't exist. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you something. You're maybe numbed out of fear, but maybe you're numbing many other emotions. Right? I did that in my past. I, I didn't like all these emotions because I felt that was weak and that was going to be judged by people. So what I would do was numb them. Numb them. I would disconnect from them. Right? So, um, what would happen is that I would disconnect from my emotional body, right? It's, it's a vibration. It's, it's an energy. Emotions are energy in motion. So, I would kind of like disconnect from it, right? And then what would happen is like when amazing things would happen, I wouldn't feel that amazing, I wouldn't look into a sunset and say like, oh my God, what I feel now, like my heart melts, my heart opens. I want to cry sometimes with the sunset. You know, it just feels so good. I feel shivers. I feel so connected to nature, to a flower, to animals, to, 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 to life, to breath. I feel so connected, right? And that's when you feel alive and you are, you're living your purpose. You're so into who you are. You're authentic. You're real. You're creative. Your inner genius is full open. You're going with the flow because you are connected to your essence. But what has happened, because of all this suffering that we've had, we've kind of, our nervous system has said, no, 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 let me protect you. No, that's not good. No, that's going to kill you. That's going to harm you. That's, that person is, don't open your heart. No, no, because that, you're going to get hurt. No, no, be careful. No. So we build all these shields that I call it like the armor. It's an armor we create. I had, my armor was huge. It was kilometers. <laughs> kilometers right so we create this armor of protection that's actually pushing you away from life from the bliss of life all right so all we gotta do is release this armor okay this armor is actually called a body armor and it's actually in your nervous system Okay, it's part of what I was talking about, the crystallized grounding substance. That's the substance that flows in the nervous system. It starts getting crystallized. And that's why you start not being yourself. You don't, you don't feel anymore that much. You, you're kind of disconnected. But that disconnects you in many ways. So all we're doing with quantum flow and this methodology is starting to release that and move it and release it, reprogram it, rewire it. So you don't keep firing and wiring the nervous system always in the same way. All right? So I think that's a lot of talk right now. Now I want to announce the winners, okay? <laughs> Are you guys feeling with that? So please, if you haven't shared this, um, I ask you if you can share this, um, this, this uh, Facebook Live. I'll be really appreciated if you can, if you can share this with your people, with groups that you think that they can benefit from this um i think it's a it's a benefit for many so if you can do that 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 would be really appreciated if you can tag people too that you know that can benefit from this because nobody taught us what to do with the emotions nobody taught us emotions are energy in motion nobody said anything we're just like, plop, here, this is life. This is earth. Now you're a soul with a body. You don't remember you're even a soul. You're just a body and they make you believe that you're just a body and that you're here just to achieve things and make money and have a title and be someone and have a family and, 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 and buy a house and then buy, buy, buy more things until you, you're kind of old and, and, and you kind of go and, and that's it. You were successful because, because you bought things, you had things, you had titles and, and you had a family and you fulfilled that. And if you didn't fulfill that, you're a failure. Oh my God, <laughs> that's a chip, you know that has been put in the majority of the humanity. 
and real success is not really that. Real success is finding your purpose, finding that inner love, finding that inner energy, finding that connection with your spirit, with, 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 with the unified field, with God, however you want to call it. Feeling in optimal health, feeling in optimal energy, feeling focused, feeling strong, knowing what to do with your emotions, how to work with your emotions. That's inner mastery. But nobody teaches us inner, inner mastery. It's all about the outside world. When are we going to focus in the inside world? That's the alchemy. That's the secret. That's the, that's the door to solve any of the problems that are not even problems. Problems don't even exist. <laughs> We're just out of our natural state. That's all. Maladies, sickness, don't even exist. We're just out of our natural state. All we're doing is coming back to our natural state because it's our birthright. It's our birthright. Yes, and, and, and there's a lot of things that there needs to be a lot of work to do in order to come back to our natural state. I'm not saying it's easy and simple. Don't get me wrong on that. I worked on my brother's sickness or being out of balance for 30 years myself. Doctors told him he was going to die in one or two years. And we brought him out. And that's 40 years after he's alive and he's one of the happiest beings in the planet with half of his body completely like broken, like burned by epilepsy. But he's alive and he's super happy, right? So I know what that is. I'm not saying it's simple and easy. I'm just saying that all we're doing is bringing back to its natural state. That's all we're doing, coming back to our natural state, right? That's what this program is about too. So it's very, very beautiful. Uh, when you start seeing life like that, all the perspective changes, the way you see yourself, the way you see life, ah, the way you breathe. Let's breathe together, guys. Let's just breathe together. It's so good, right? Ah. So grateful just to be alive. So grateful just to be who we are. Just the way we are. So grateful just to be. Coming back to the bliss of being. Letting go of that stress of having to do. Do comes as a result of being. We first need to like really, really connect with the bliss of being. The bliss of being in a body. The bliss of being who you are. The bliss of... Connecting with your soul, with your essence, with your energy, with your spirit, however you want to call that. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter your philosophy. That makes your heart beat, you know? That. that. That's the beauty. And let's start from that, right? And then from there, of course, the, the doing comes. Anyway. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the giveaway? Please, please, please. Let's do some drum rolls. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. -na 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 -na. So, so, winner number one, yeah, first winner to be announced is called Mia Caspari. Yay! Congratulations, Mia. You won. 30 days of full transformation, coming back to your natural state, learning to release all the toxins and all the energy that's accumulated in your body and your mind and your energy is going to explode. Congratulations. <laughs> Are you guys celebrating with me? Woo! Okay. Number two, Marie Innate. Marie Innate, E-N-A-I-T. Thank you very much. Congratulations. You have nailed it. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. Oh, girls. Okay. Winner number three. We have got Jacob Brown. Let's give it. Whoosh. Jacob Brown, amazing brother. Yeah. 
yes to the brothers waking up, to the brothers waking up, yes to the brothers coming back to the natural state. I love it. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Winner number four. We have Camila Gauron. Camila Gauron. How's that? <laughs> oh my god, okay. And winner number five, Elisabetta Botton. Elisabetta Botton. Yes, these are our amazing winners. So, so grateful. So grateful for all of you being part of this and growing together and expanding together and being open and receptive, guys. For all of you that also want to participate and want to be part of it, if you really want to do this, if you feel the call, reach out to me. If, if it's an economic imbalance that you have, reach out to me. I can help you. We can find like a payment plan for you. I, um, I want to bring down the price um, that we had because this is a course that uh, we brought it down to 20% at certain moments from like almost $1,000 to $200, 197 okay? And of course, everybody's like getting so much value for, for that amount of money. And, but I know that for 197 for some of you, that's why I give, did the giveaway because I know for some of you, even that, like it's a big investment right now. I know, I understand this. So if you really want to do this, reach out to me. Like that is, that is, and I'm, I can keep that price for you. I can keep that. We can come back to that price, which is 20% of the course really. And if you can't even pay that, we can do a payment plan. We can find a way to support you, okay? I'm really, really wanting to support everyone that I can. That's why I'm here. I love it. And yes, know that I totally want to support you. So yes, celebrating all the winners. And also, this is the part where I'm, I'm also feeling the ones that didn't win. And I'm like, oh, okay. I get you, I feel you guys. Please don't let yourself go down with this. Let's find a way to get you in the course. Reach out to me, okay? If you still want um, information of the course and you wanna start talking to me to see what we can do, please just write down rejuvenation. Just write down rejuvenation and I will share with you this 30 day course we'll figure out a way for you okay I, i'm here to support you i really want to support you if you want to do it just write the the name the, the 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 word rejuvenation and we'll get back to you and we'll support you to see how we can make this happen okay so let me talk about the drink some of you have asked okay what's going to happen with that drink what is it this is part of what what i explained in the course is one of the drinks we explain um so this drink has, I did this for my son, for Regan and for me, okay? So this, this drink has, for the three of us, just one tablespoon of coffee. Because you know, if you take too much coffee, it can affect your liver. And coffee is just a, a medium of transportation. It can be medicine if you add superfoods to the coffee. But if you just take plain coffee, it's not that amazing, right? So... If you want to make the most amazing superfood coffee, don't leave. S stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. The most amazing superfood coffee, just take a tablespoon. I did that for three people, right? One tablespoon. I did the coffee. And then to add to that, I add fat, whatever fat. It can be butter, right? Or it can be coconut oil. Yeah. Um. 
that's the base. That's what makes the, the coffee go all the way and, 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 and go through the, ba the, brain, the brain barrier. There's, the, the brain has a barrier, has a little like coating. So the nutrients and, 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 and the information don't cross into the brain barrier. It's a form of protection. But through the coconut oil, through the fat, you're helping everything you're putting into your body get all the way into your brain because you want to nurture your brain, right? So that's the basic of, a, you know, that, they call it a bulletproof coffee. Very typical, but that's very superficial, guys. I never conform myself with like, yeah, I just want to take a bulletproof coffee. It's, it's better than just taking coffee with milk, but it's not enough. Like if you're putting that into your body, why not add something else? So what I add is a little bit of cacao, just a little bit, okay? And if you don't like coffee, you can just do it with cacao, okay? So you get the coffee, you add a teaspoon of cacao, you add the fat, you add a little bit of salt just to get the minerals, Himalayan salt or sea salt, okay? Organic. So you're not getting all the heavy metals and all the stuff from the ocean and all that. It needs to be done in a way where it's pure, okay? Pinch of salt. Then I would add, if you want to add so something sweet, something natural, like, like honey, like uh, maple syrup, yeah? can be a little bit of agave if you want. Coconut sugar, like get good sugars in your body right and not too much don't make it too sweet just just enough to kind of balance it right that's the base okay and then from that you can add any medicinal mushroom that you want medicinal mushroom i mean by the mushrooms that work on your brain work on your immunologic system work on your circulation work on the, the most antioxidant substances in the world you can get this in any health food store Okay, so one mushroom is called chaga, chaga, C-H-A-G-A, -A. chaga, okay? Chaga is amazing to wake up your pineal gland, your intuition, your brain. It wakes up your brain and it's the most antioxidant substance there is in the world. You can Google that if you want. It has like a tablespoon has 31,000 orac. That's the way we measure how much antioxidants a substance have. Imagine that a blueberry that's full of antioxidants has 130, more or less. Depends on the concentration, right? So that's how powerful chaga is. So I would add that. I would add lions of Maine. Lions, like, you know, the lion, right? Lions, lions of Maine, Okay, Lions of Maine is amazing for the brain. If you see it, it's a mushroom that's like a brain. And it actually nurtures your brain and reconnects the neural circuitry in your brain. It brings your brain back to its natural state. Okay, so Lions of Maine, amazing. Rishi, immunologic system, super antioxidant. Rishi, R-E-I-S-H-I. Rishi mushroom, okay? And then you can also add uh, that I recommend another one is cordyceps. Cordyceps is like if you're moving your body a lot, if you want to, you know, stay strong, if you want to nurture your adrenal glands because you, you, you usually um, burn out your adrenal glands with stress, with, with, with too many low vibration emotions, you deplete your adrenal glands and your kidneys. So all that, co that, that cordyceps do is like bring the kidneys and adrenal glands back to its natural state, all right? So those are the mushrooms. I could go on and on through mushrooms, but those are the ones I love and I use personally. There's many out there. I would add a little bit of maca if you can. Maca is focus your mind. It's an adaptogen. So if you need energy, it'll give you energy. If you need to calm down, it'll calm you down. It's that, the good thing of, 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 of maca. And I would add, um, um, if you want a little bit of flavor, it can be cinnamon, yeah, or vanilla. And you can add also, if you want, um, chili, a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you're going to use chili, it's full of vitamin C and it helps assimilate all the other superfoods into your brain, into your nervous system, into your digestive system. So cayenne, just enough. Even if you don't like it, just put like a pinch that you won't even taste it. Sometimes the medicine you want to add is just a pinch, okay? 
I would add some turmeric, of course, super antioxidant, amazing, like anti-cancerigenous, amazing for like circulation, amazing for like inflammation, bring down inflammation in your body. Like turmeric is like, whoa, next level, right? And then I would add um, black pepper. Black pepper activates turmeric, all right? So, whoa, again, don't feel bad because you only have 5% of the ingredients. Do it with whatever you have. Even if you just have coffee or cacao and a little bit of fat, start with that, okay? Slowly build yourself up. Build yourself up. And when you're doing amounts, you don't have to, don't think that more is, is more quantity is going to be more quality. Sometimes, especially if you have your digestive system and your, your large intestine is full of leaks, you have a, a, a leak. A, a, a gut, what we call a, a gut, a leaking gut, right? Then you are not absorbing 90% of the nutrients. So when you start incorporating superfoods into your body, you gotta start very slow, very gentle, little amounts. So a, big, a thing like this of mushroom can last three months, five months. You don't need much, trust me. But you do need to do a detox and you, you, you need to start healing that leaking gut because you're not absorbing a lot of the nutrients. And the leaking gut, it's not only in the large intestine. I'm talking about the small intestine where you really digest, right? So all this nutrition is going everywhere else but not into your brain and into your blood and into your muscles and into everywhere you want it to go right so it's very important to start clearing everything in order for you to to receive all this add some probiotics probiotics are amazing especially live like like the ones that are on the fridge right get those i i, I like a brand that's called dr ohiras doctor and o h i r a ohira okay O-H-I-R-A. For me, that's the best brand. It's a little bit, you know, high on price, but it's, it's made with all the superfoods I'm talking about. It's, it's really good. Been fermented for three to five years. So, you know, I, I, I really, you know, I love, I love my body. I love my life. I love my family. I want the best for me, for, for everyone, right? Like, if you want to live the best life, you got to give yourself the best. And, and maybe... If you have an economic imbalance right now, it's okay. Take it easy. Do whatever you can, but start aligning with your capacity to manifest. Start aligning with your capacity to create. Don't get lost in like, I don't have the money. I can't do that. Start, start doing quantum flow. Quantum flow. I've seen people achieve so much through this methodology, quantum flow. It helps so much because it, it connects you from the nervous system. It wakes up your inner genius. You start receiving all these ideas for business, for relationships, for all these possibilities that you have available right now. So start doing the work. Don't get stuck in, in your little cave of like, oh, I can't do it. I don't have the money. I don't have the means. That's not me. I'm not a lucky one. Like, that story. Let go of that story and do, do the work to open up to that. You, you have the possibility to do everything you dream of okay remember always that guys always i always love to give leave an inspiration like that because i know some of you are like oh okay this is my dream life i'll never get it no 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 no. that's your story no no that's your story your dream if you can dream it you can manifest it if you can visualize it you can materialize it okay that's a law it's neuroscience neuroplasticity i'm talking science here science I'm not talking a woo-woo thing because Juan Pa said or the law of affirmation or the law of positive thinking which can be so superficial. I'm talking about the real deal here. You are a powerful manifester. Okay, remember that. And I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this giveaway too and for sharing this live stream and for being a light for humanity. We need you. We need you. We need you in humanity. We need you to share your light. We need you to, to, to be the change you want to see in the world. All right? Familia preciosa. Familia preciosa. Love you, love you, love you. Mucho amor. Mucho amor. If you want to come to the tribe, if you're not part of the Quantum Flow community and you want to 
keep knowing about all these like giveaways and free stuff that we do and everything please comment below with quantum and we'll get you into that community quantum okay i always say that so people can join us too and and um I also give you access to my app. I'm going to be sharing that because in my app, I have like five free courses that will change your life. Five free courses. You can download my app in uh, App Store, just my name, Juan Pablo Araona, and you'll find five free courses. Amazing. One hour and a half. You want some content? Go get it. Go get it. It's there for you. Don't tell me you don't have money. Don't tell me you can't pay. You Don't tell me you can't do stuff. Go get it. It's right there waiting for you, okay? And let me know how it goes. If you do anything, let me know how it goes. I always love hearing from you, all right? Replay, familia, let me know if you are just watching the replay and you're tuned in with all of us. Ah, Let's breathe together three times just to say we're here always for each other. Deep breath. Ah, We are one, one humanity, raising the vibration together. Ah, releasing all the old patterns that hold us down and opening up to our full potential. Last one. Ah, and this one, take a deep breath in. Bring it through your mouth. Stretch your arms, open up space in your body, relax your jaw. And then exhale, receive. Golden light coming through your crown all the way down into your heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you in every cell of your body. I am light. I remember who I am. <laughs> thank you for reminding me who I am. Ah, love you guys so much. Pura vida. And we will see you around. Un solo corazón. Boom.